Hello everyone and welcome to our yet another discussion. Uh, in this lecture we are going to fully discuss the index numbers and this is our lecture number one. At the end of this lecture you'll be required to go to the next session which covers an exam type question on index numbers. So in this unit we are going to cover the key definition of index numbers. We are going to look at uh, the types of index numbers and then we shall look at the classification of index numbers we shall look at other areas of focus and of course we shall move into the exam type question my name is CP Innocent Mugisha from Harvest Trainer and Consultancy and I'm going to take you through this very very interesting session we shall begin by uh, defining an index number uh, that's the key definition and of course in the slide we are saying an index number is a measure an index number is a measure of relative change in a variable or group of variables in regard to time geographical location and other characteristics such as income measure of relative change in a variable or group of variables in regard to time geographical location and other characteristics like income so you may want to measure how prices have changed you may want to measure how uh, quantities or supplies have changed the value of commodities has changed and so on so the index number is one of the approaches that will help you in determining those relative changes different types index numbers that we have include uh, what we may say are the price index numbers okay we have the price index numbers now the price index numbers measure the changes in commodity prices just as the, way the, the, the name goes price index numbers then we have the quantity index numbers quantity index numbers which measure the changes in the volume of goods produced consumed and distributed the volume okay so these ones will indicate uh, the relative change in the volume of goods that are consumed maybe in a, in, in, in a particular place distributed produced and so on then we have the value uh, then we have the value index numbers which measure the changes in the total value of goods produced and sold the value index numbers measure the uh, changes in the total uh, value of goods produced and sold so to get the value index numbers we multiply our price times our price times quantity so those will be our uh, different types the price index numbers the quantity index numbers and the value index numbers then um, index numbers are classified uh, index numbers are further classified and we have different classes so in our discussion we shall talk about the unweighted index numbers or indices then we have the weighted indices and then we have the published index numbers so those are the three major classes of index numbers you can bring out here uh, the weighted index numbers the uh, unweighted sorry the unweighted index numbers the weighted index numbers and the published index numbers so what could be the difference between these different classes now when it comes to the um, unweighted index numbers in the slide we are saying that for these ones here uh, the index number 
does not consider the relative importance of the commodity for which they are computed. The index number does not consider the relative importance of the commodity for which they are computed. Now the unweighted index numbers are divided into three. The unweighted index numbers are divided into three. Uh, that is to say the simple index numbers, the simple aggregate index numbers, and the simple average index numbers or relatives. So they tend to, of course, um, give the relative change in prices, quantities of value, eh? but we don't consider the relative importance of the commodity for which these indices are computed, which is quite different from the weighted index numbers. For the case of the weighted index numbers, uh, these ones they consider the relative importance of the commodities for which they are being computed. And of course, they are divided into two major types. We have the weighted price and the weighted the quantity. Weighted price and weighted quantity. So these ones further go into the weighting. We do the weighting and the weight will reflect the relative importance of that commodity. For example, if you are computing uh, the household commodities like sugar, soap, salt, uh, and so on, mobile phone, we, we, we can give weights to those different commodities depending on what commodity is highly desired by given household. Now that is quite different from the unweighted index numbers. For the unweighted index numbers, the relative importance is not considered. So we don't do the weighting. There are no weights. So under this category of the weighted index numbers, we shall find uh, the weighted average price indices, Las Pears price index, Pashes price index, uh, and worth Marshall price um, index. Okay. Then we have Fisher's ideal index and Dobish Bowell's index. So these are six. Now the most common that are highly examinable are these three. Though it is also important for you to also look at the others. But uh, the most highly examined are these ones here. Those three weighted average price indices, uh, Las Pears price and Pasha's price. Now these ones, of course we are saying the word price, price, price because this is the first category. So it means that there is another version for the quantity. We don't want to assume that everybody has that very strong background. So that's why some of the formulas are done what are given to you. We don't our major purpose is not is not to make you cram these formulas. No. You're going to be decision makers. Actually, you're already decision makers. You're improving on your decision making skills. So part of the decision making process is not to cram the formula. Is to know how to apply the formula and then to use the formula to solve your decision making problems. So you find that in these notes shared on the screen right now, the index numbers I've been talking about, the formulas are all here. For instance, the simple index numbers or relatives, the formulas are here. Okay, the formulas are given here. So we are going to, uh, of course, practice. The only way to appreciate the formula is by practicing on it. Then we have the simple aggregate index numbers. These are the formulas here. Okay. Then we have um, the simple average. These are the 
unweighted index numbers that we have talked about the formulas are here okay the formulas are here accompanied with some numbers some worked out examples then if you continue down you find the weighted index numbers uh, as I've mentioned the uh, um, weighted price index plus pairs purchase but all these ones are price 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 all these scholars had to also give us the weighted uh, uh, quantity for example we have last pairs price index and also have last pairs quantity index so the formulas are here that is the for the weighted index numbers then we have uh, last pairs index which is here then we have purchase index which is right here okay and so on so as you continue as you continue you see the formulas are there and some numbers so what we are going to do is to practice on some of the past paper questions uh, December 2010 looks like that that's going to be our first question December 2010 question 4 part C um, in this one we are given the prices of matoke uh, rice and beans during the month of January 2006 and January 2008 so we have the quantities the price quantities and the price so these are the commodities I was talking about matoke rice beans is just an example a commodity and um, in the following slide we have the question now we were required to take 206 as the best year and to calculate the price index for 208 using Las Pears index and Pache's index then we are required to also calculate the quantity index now that's different from the what from the price very very different from the price under the quantity index using Pache's formula okay then of course to give the three major limitations of index numbers which we can give so we shall begin with the first part go to the second part and then finally look at the uh, part number three so um, you take a screenshot I know you may not have this slide so take a screenshot those who have the past papers uh, you don't need to take a screenshot just go to the past paper and you find the question there December 20 2010 question 4 all right you can take a screenshot of this slide and if you're done you will now move to the next lecture video the video that provides a full solution to this uh, exam type question